this is Jeff Lawrence. Uh, welcome to uh, Metro East Election Speak Out and uh, a little segment that I like to call Stand Against the Machine. I'm your guest host. I'm Jeff Lawrence. Uh, with me tonight uh, is Laura Lawrence, who is running for position one, Troutdale City Council. Uh, Jeff is running for uh, the U.S. Congress. That's a separate show. Uh, we're going to start Laura. Welcome, Laura. Hi, Jeff. It's great to be here. So, you know, I'm really glad that you're running uh, because I'm really excited that voters in, in Troutdale are going to get a choice uh, in position one. Tell me a little bit about yourself and why you decided to run. Well, I've lived in Troutdale for 19 years, and in case you haven't guessed, I'm married to you, <laughs> almost for 27. Um, I was actually involved in the school districts for, in our real school district for years, and my kids have gotten to a point where they're self-sufficient, if that is a possibility. And I thought, you know what, I think I could make a contribution to the community. And I looked around and I thought, you know, there's a city council position open. And I think it's nice to have somebody from every part of the community, uh, businessmen, lawyers, mothers. There's more than just two people in this community, so it's good to have a blend of everyone. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to volunteer. No, I think that's a great. I think that's great. Get out there and give the voters uh, voters a choice. So, uh, you know, your cards. I've seen your cards and your signs around town, and uh, they talk about sustainability and enterprise. And what is sustainability to you? What does that mean for a you know for a city councilman? Sustainability to me means balancing our budget and wise use of our resources and acting responsibly. Excellent. So what about enterprise? I know that out in Troutdale they've got, you know, some ideas about enterprise zones. And how do you feel about the enterprise zones that they're bringing in? Well, enterprise means that business is an important partner. And I like enterprise zones. I would like to see a closer relationship between our local job market and Mount Hood College. Yeah, me too on that one, Mount Hood. We have some kids who've really taken advantage That's of that. That's a great resource yeah, in our backyard. So, you know, just a little bit about well, what do you bring to the city council? What do you bring that's fresh and new? Well, first of all, I live a normal life, and I'm independent. I do not owe any special groups any favors. And I think that it's important to have accountability for those in office, and that's something you can get being a parent. And I will stand up for what is right and always tell you the truth. So there's a number of bond issues that have been out there, and I just want to ask you about a couple of them. Uh, some of them are not really necessarily um, uh, for the council to decide on their issues for the voters, but people are interested in reviews. Uh, one of them is on the police uh, uh, bond. What do you think about the police station bond? Well, this is, like you said, this is an issue for the voters, but something I've learned in canvassing is I have a lot of people that wonder what kind of a message we're sending out. You know, as city council members, what kind of a message are we sending out to these people who are losing their homes in foreclosure and we're in an economic downturn? And here we are consider it a police station and that's something we do need down the road but I think that right now people are wondering how they're going to make it from one month to another and this is something they're not really quite embracing of at the time. So there's another uh, there's another uh, uh, ballot measure in there that uh, clarifies the role of the mayor and I don't know if you had a chance to look at it but did you have any thoughts on that one? Well um, there's some there's some good points and some bad points. One thing that bothered me was in the voters pamphlet they didn't have the old the old role that they wanted to change it. First they wanted to change it and make it something else and there was just the new one they didn't have it side by side comparison. So then we went to the city council um, trapdell page and there was nothing there so we had to go seek out a little bit further. I think it's good to put information on the table. So you can compare it like apples and oranges, you know what you're looking at. Yeah, so maybe a better job of presentation. Yeah. So in your voter statement, you talked a little bit about the, uh, the city council maybe being an old boys club. Uh, what did you mean about that? Well, um, Troutdale has been run by the same small group of businessmen and local politicians for many years. Just look at who is serving and who is running. And for instance, the guy I'm running against, Dave, has been on there for 15 years. These are, there are times when people want accountability and when people have been in for a long time, they kind of get set in their own ways, in my view. And they do have special interests, sometimes. So what have you learned? I'm going to ask you, what have you learned in this run? And I know, like, you've had some interesting experiences with signs being stolen and vandalized and stuff. What sticks out? What have you want? What have you, what have you learned? Well, I've learned that even if you don't agree with somebody, you should respect their property. Does it mean, if you, just because you don't want something, somebody to get in, the way you show your independence is by not voting for them. Taking away their property or disfiguring it is something that you frankly don't want to teach your children. So, we're, we're rolling out of, running out of time here. I've got just a couple more quick ones. Who's your favorite president? George Washington. And why? 
He did not aspire to power, and he did not abuse it when he had it. <laughs> and what did you like most about the campaign? Well, I love meeting people. One of the things that was fun was just going around. I lived here for 19 years, and it was just fun to make a connection with the citizens in Troutdale. I've, I've met a lot of people throughout the schools that I volunteered at, but there's a lot of people from different spectrum of ages, and I was able to make a connection, and I appreciated hearing what they thought and um, what kind of things they'd like to see made different. That's very good. So I think we're just about out of time, uh, so I think we're going to wrap up right here. Uh, but I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, and this is Jeff Lawrence, and I'm here with Laura Lawrence, again running for Position 1, Troutdale City Council. Appreciate you coming out. Vote for Laura.